Morning, folks. Uh, we're in the office this morning. <laughs> um, nothing fancy here. So uh, we're going to do a little video today about shaker doors and how I make them on the CNC machine. Um, you're probably going to notice that I'm kind of glancing over stuff at the moment, uh, keeping things brief, and I'm not spending too much time editing um, videos just because I think uh, if people aren't going to watch them or people don't find them very helpful, and I don't really want to waste too much time. If I start getting an uptake on the videos, I'll spend a lot more time. We'll go into a lot more detail on how things are done. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about CNC shaker doors. I'm going to flip the camera around now. Um, I'm going to show you the laptop, the computer side of it. I use VCarve Pro, um, which is good. There's a few things I wish it did that it doesn't do. We'll talk about that. And uh, we'll talk about the tool paths, tools, what tools I use on the CNC. And then we'll go over there and uh, we'll cut out our shake doors. So I'm hoping this doesn't distort or anything because I'm just purely filming a computer screen. So let's look. Um, so I'm going to disable these tool paths for a sec. And this is literally how I draw the shaker doors. It couldn't be easier. So we're putting the full dimensions that we want in to start with. Um, of the doors, that you, the finished size of the doors, okay? And that's going to form this outer square, um, the outer perimeter of the door. And that's the first thing I do. The next thing I do is I, if it's a tall door, I'll put in this third rail. And all I do is I find the halfway point of this vertical line and I draw a simple line straight across. Then all I do, I go over to offset and I tend to do all my styles and rails at 70 mil. So I hit the offset button and we want to offset it in both directions at 35 mil. Okay, and that will give us that, um, that middle rail and then we can use the trimming tool which is this one here, to cut out any unwanted lines. So then we've kind of got, that gives us already then these two, the, well, this, this, this outer sort of square here. Um, what I then want to do, sorry, incorrect. That gives me this inner square, okay? Because we're working from the back of the doors. So we're, we're all of our machining is done from the back of the door. That enables us to do every process, including the hinge bore holes, in, in one hit, okay? So we've got that in a, in a square, which would be this one. Then I offset that outwards by 10 mil, okay? Which gives me that line. So what we're trying to achieve here, and this might not be obvious to everyone, but we're doing a two-piece shaker door. So we're cutting these out completely, and then we're going to cut some 12 mil panels that will fit inside this rebate, okay? Um, in terms of the processes, now the tool paths, so for the hinges, those there, we're going to do a pocket tool path. And I'm probably not going to go into detail on where I set these, just purely because it can be different for different hinges and systems, and I don't want to go into too much depth in this video. Um, the next process is this rebate, okay? This rebate isn't going to go all. This is this is a uh, this is going to be a profile tool path, and in this instance, I'm using 22 mil MDF for these doors. So this rebate here, we're going to cut at uh, 16 mil deep. That's going to give me a six mil um, step on the back of the front side of the door, what will become the front side of the door, and it's going to give me a four mil step at the back, um, and that's with us using a twelve mil panel. This will all make a lot more sense when you see it cutting out. So I use a ten mil cutter for all my profiling tool paths, which means that we're going to get rounded corners. So we're going to go back through it again but with a 3 mil cutter, and that's going to give us the nice tight corners. Obviously, we can only cut around 3 mil deep per pass on a 3 mil cutter, so, um, yeah, it, that's the probably the longest part of this process is, is getting the corners tight. I do need to work out a way of the machine just coming in and just doing that corner rather than going the whole way around, but I haven't quite sussed that out, so uh, if anyone knows how to do that, that'd be very helpful. Um, I know you can use a pocket tool path, um, but that will continue to go through. Oh, actually, would it? Maybe that's how I do it. 
I'm going to try that. Uh, next thing, inner panel. I'm going to just disable these actually so that you can see. The next thing's the inner panel, so that's going to be cut all the way through, 22.5mm. Uh, and again, that's going to have a 3mm cutter go through it just to get the corners a bit tighter. Then the final uh, toolpath is the external cutout, which is just the perimeter of the door. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going into too much detail here. I just wanted to glance over everything really. And, um, we'll do a sort of short video and we'll see how this all works. We'll go over and have a look at the machine now and uh, I can show you how, uh, how I've got things set up. So I've loaded up a sheet, uh, 22 mil Hydrofugo. Um, obviously got an ATC machine here, vacuum bed. So uh, I have, like I say, my 10 mil cutter there and then my three mil cutters loaded in. Okay, they're the only two tools I'm going to use for this job. Um, so I'm probably going to put you on a stand now and do a little time lapse video. And I'll, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So for the vast majority of my parts cutting, I use a 10 mil straight fluted cutter. <clears throat> um, so we've gone in first and we've cut out the hinge bore holes. The way I try and do things is I, I do all of the machining that doesn't require going all the way through the board first. That just keeps the vacuum um, nice and strong on the bed basically. So the next thing it's done there that you've seen now is um, it's gone in with a 10 mil cutter and it's cut the rebate to start with uh, like I said to a depth of 16 mil and it's now gone back and it's picked up the 3 mil cutter and it's going around and just tightening up the corners um, and that's happening in 3 mil passes. Then finally it's gone back for the 10 mil cutter and it's uh, cut out the perimeter of the doors. So that's the first stage all done. Um, probably noticed me uh, holding the board at the end there. That's just because the vacuum bed isn't amazing on this machine and once we've gone through in several places fully through the board we do lose the vacuum a bit. Um, so that was just why I was holding it, just to avoid any movement. Um, so we'll pull this panel out. Well, I do need to surface my bed on this machine. I'll put a new one on ideally, but there we go. So you'll see the rebate we've created. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is put a 12 mil sheet on. I'm going to cut out a panel to go in there. I'm doing it 0 0.04 of a mil smaller, and I put a 1.5 mil radius on each of the corners um, because we've used a 3 mil diameter bit and hopefully this panel is just going to sit straight in. So you'll just need to excuse uh, the dust that's coming out of this thing at the moment. You'll see at the back of my brushes there there's a bit of a gap, um, so I need to replace the brushes ideally. Uh, also my dust bags are full so that doesn't help, but um, fortunately there are quite big chunks that come out of this cutter so it's not too bad. Yeah, we're just cutting out the panels here um, on this machine. It's a uh, it's a 12 mil cutter. Uh, sorry, a 10 mil cutter. Might go through in one pass. Anything up to 20 mil thick. You'll see there on the corner. I've got that nice 1.5 mil radius. So hopefully that's going to fit nicely. So just a couple of processes now before we fit these panels. Uh, just going to take a sanding pad. Just denib the edges on this. And obviously this is the real beauty of using uh, the two-piece system because we've really got virtually no sanding before painting. Um, I know a lot of people do the one-piece doors where well, you're exposing all the fibres so the sanding becomes a lot more intense. So um, I really like this system. We're also minimising any real chance of the doors warping which is very common, again, for the one-piece doors. So yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. That's all good to go. So final little job is just to um, denib all of these corners. Same on the other side. I like to use this little pneumatic tool. Um, I think, again, it's got a 1.5mm radius cut on it.
I'm going to do just clean up the glue around the corners there. Same process around the perimeter now with the uh, pneumatic trimmer. And she's good to go. Sand up the edges and it'll be into paint. So there we go, two doors all finished. See, one on the left is the front, one on the right is the rear. Um, yeah, they're all denibbed. Um, Probably a quick wipe of the tap cloth and they'll be ready to go in for some paint. If you want me to go into any more detail on anything, perfectly happy to. Just drop me a message in the comments. Cheers.